Nearly half of those women are either black or Hispanic. Experts say the pandemic is simply exacerbating the role of women in the family. And more than 2 million other women are considering leaving the workforce soon. More than six months into the pandemic and the Department of Labor is monitoring a shift in the workforce. Last month alone, 865,000 women nationwide left the workforce. About a third are Latina and 58,000 are black. What this particular situation does, it exacerbates ongoing structural inequalities. It exacerbates um, the inequities produced by discrimination in employment um, and discrimination in housing. And so it really makes a bad situation worse. Locally, Sandank says our most diverse communities are hardest hit by job loss and women make up a majority of the workforce for industries with the most layoffs. What we're seeing when you when you kind of add those up is it, there's this double effect where women, especially women of color, are, are overly represented in people who lost their jobs. Not all women were forced out of their jobs. Management consulting firm McKinsey and Company estimates 2 million women are considering leaving. Jess Wang authored the study and found black women are particularly vulnerable. They're 2.5 times more likely to have experienced death of a loved one during the COVID-19 crisis. It's one reason the Chicano Federation says more is needed to support families vulnerable to the physical and economic effects of the virus. It has been a multitude of different factors, but I do think that we need to look at that in this recovery because we can't afford to have, you know, that percentage of black and brown women left out of the workforce and falling further behind their colleagues in terms of advancing in their careers. It, of course, remains to be seen whether women will return to the workforce after the pandemic is over. However, the McKinsey study found that it could lead to more long-term issues in finding qualified women for leadership roles.